I'd like to take a few minutes to review the Vort X by Whirlwind FX. I got a pair of them on a nice sale. I wanted to demonstrate what they could do. I've created a little device to kind of show the wind speed and uh, give you an example of what it does in, in your chair. Kind of show you a position of where that is. I've been flanking my left and right monitor and I have the left device configured to utilize the left hand side of the screen for its information and the right device to use the right side of the screen. So here are some demonstrations of how this thing works. Here you can see some of the software that's supported by Vort FX at this point. Um, you've got games, Battlefield, Fortnite, Call of Duty Warzone, Minecraft, Apex Legend, CSGO, Valorant, Minecraft again, a different Java edition, Terraria, League of Legends, Cyberpunk, Dota 2, Witcher 3, Path of Exile, Hearthstone. I think that list is expanding. It's not that many right now, but that's custom coded for those games so that you get the best effects you can. You got idle effects that you can choose from. That's uh, the LED patterns that happen when your uh, Vortex are idle. And you got the all category. You can click under devices and you can click the gearbox and you can set change things like the fan intensity, the heat intensity, um, what hue activates on and then you can turn on or off turbo mode I leave turbo off on my desk distance turbo on just makes the fans way too powerful you can uh, adjust things here if you want to hear how loud the fans get that's one of the fans at full mode without turbo so it's it's relatively loud but if you had headphones on it's not a bother if you're listening to something loud it's not a bother and then uh, same thing for the other side. Again, you can configure what part of the screen that you're looking at by clicking this little arrow and it shows you as you highlight like what area you want that device to pick up. This device is the one on my right and I want it to pick up the right side of the screen. So I will choose that. The software is even smart enough to pick the top side of the screen and the bottom side of the screen, at least for the LED lights. You can see that the volume knobs are depicted to be the top side of the screen and the under uh, lights are depicted to be the lower part of the screen. So on the left, you can see this American flag visualization. On the top left, the flag is blue. On the bottom of the screen, it's a red stripe. And on the right hand uh, device, you can see it's kind of a mixture between red and white because that's what's happening on the right hand upper side of the screen. Here you can see how the software is working with like a fireworks effect. You can see that it triggers on the correct side and then as the rays of the firework or the beams of the firework go to the other side, they pick up as well. Now again, I have mine set up to do half and half of the screen. So it's not immediately when it comes on, it's when it takes up the majority of the left hand or the, the right hand side of the screen. But you can also see how movement affects the LED colors and also the fan effect if the fans were engaged for this motion. Is that it? We've done it! Hold together!